Resurrection Fest TV. Uh, we got here two days ago from Romania. It's been very relaxing. Uh, uh -huh. We went to some good, uh, good restaurants in the city. Mm -hmm. Just been taking it easy and uh -huh. uh, excited to be playing in Spain again. Uh, this is the first time we've yes. uh, done Resurrection Festival. I think, I think uh, I've seen it before online, mm -hmm. but it's the first time. I didn't know we were coming up, up here. For some reason, I thought it was somewhere else in Spain. So this is awesome. We've never been up mm -hmm. to this part of the country. So. If, if the last three shows we played in Spain were any indication, it's going to be pretty crazy, I believe. Uh, it's definitely different. I think huh? in Europe, people are very... Not that people in the States aren't passionate about music. I mean, I think Trivium fans around the world are really into huh? what we do. But there's definitely uh, just an, another level of excitement about music. I think the festivals here definitely bring that out for people. You know, the festival scene in the U.S. is a lot different. And um, just over here, I, I think most bands that come over here will agree. It's just just a next level of, uh, of passion for heavy music. And it's, it's great. We always get great responses here. Uh, like I said, everyone... Uh, Everyone that comes to our shows here is always giving it 100%. We don't have to really uh, beat up the crowd to get moving, to yeah. sing along. I mean, it goes without saying, when, when you play in Spain, you know, the crowds are going to be going mental. And, I mean, since day one of coming to Spain, it's always been like that. Even back when we supported, like, Iron Maiden, for example, uh -huh. in Spain, it was probably one of the best shows we played on the whole tour. Mm -hmm. You know, people just want to have a good time here. They want to sing, scream go crazy and you know uh -huh. we really and anytime we see a, a Spanish tour date we're always very excited first day I mean I would definitely have to say Lamb of God I think yes. you know they're they've always been one of my favorite newer metal bands and mm -hmm. we've had uh, we've been very fortunate to get the tour with them become friends with the guys they're amazing people amazing band and I'm really, really happy that everything worked out from what happened last summer because I think you know they're one of the they're one of the pillars of of heavy music for modern metal, you know. And and without them, you know, I think there wouldn't be a lot of even newer bands starting to come out now, you know, that have been inspired by bands like them. And then of course Slayer, yes. all-time favorite it's, band on the bill for sure. So. Um, that's kind of a toss-up, I guess. I mean, I do really love the Misfits. Uh -huh. uh, I think the first two Danzig records are are amazing. You know, I I love. I, we actually did a tour with Danzig back before Ascendancy came out, uh -huh. and to this day, that was that's still one of like the highlight tours for me because they uh -huh. did, that was the first time they started. He started doing the Misfits set with Doyle. With Doyle. And it was awesome, man. It was cool because you could see the best of both worlds, you know, Danzig material, and then the encore was Misfits, and it was great, you know, he's a legend. Well, I'd probably say coffee because I always feel, especially on tour, that I'm needing to wake up more, that I'm needing to get really drunk and fall asleep, so. <laughs> Maybe a little whiskey in the coffee. <laughs> beach, for sure. I live on the beach. That, that to me, is kind of 50-50. I, mm -hmm. I love doing both. Gibson. I do, I mean, 90s is great too, but I, I'd say most of my favorite bands uh -huh. are 80s. Mm. 
kind of tough. I've, I've never been huge into either band, but uh, if I had to pick, I'd probably pick Ramones. Uh, Lady Gaga. Don't call my name. I guess she's kind of uh, the modern day Madonna, so more my, my generation's Madonna. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, that's tough. Um, I'd probably have to pick Elvis. I think uh, you know he pretty much started rock, rock and roll as as we know it. So it's that's definitely a hard one. But Elvis. Um, I would definitely I would definitely say Metallica. But Megadeth is, in my opinion, equally you know a great band. Star Wars. Simpsons. Steven Seagal. Dude, Steven Seagal is a badass. He is. <laughs> oh, Mac. Nintendo. Ooh, tough. Um, well, if Shaquille O'Neal was the superhero he played, what was it? Uh, I'm a super sprout superhero. It was it was a pretty bad movie. I can't remember yes. what he was though. But uh, maybe Shaquille O'Neal in his hero alter ego might be able to win. He's a, he's a big dude. 